Hello and welcome. Today we are going to work on knuckle joint assembly. First, you guys are supposed to click the link, the description part of this video. So you are going to come to this website. And if you log in your account, you can just click the knuckle joint assembly part. And now you can make a copy. As you can see on the drawing file, you cannot see the make a copy part. So you need to go to joint assembly, knuckle joint assembly and make a copy and then i'm gonna just delete the copy part i'm gonna say okay now i have all the drawing files assembly and the parts in my account so i can make necessary addition so when we complete the assignment uh, we would like to see the the bolt diameter is supposed to be 60 and for the callouts, we should use the, these numbers and it's supposed to be hexagonal and the part numbers should start with the bolt and the follows as it is now. Now let's go to uh, knuckle joint assembly part and then I'm going to click here, exploded views, configuration panel and I have the bomb table. So I'm going to click the bomb table and as you can see, uh, it starts with the fork, so we need to uh, edit them. How can we edit it? So we are going to just change the uh, here. So it's going to make them a lot easier. So I'm going to just put the bolt on the first one. I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag them to the top. And it's going to be automatically edited here, as you can see. So the bolt is the first one. This is going to be second. And then we have the eye will be the third one and then fork then pin and as you can see it is edited now we need to uh, use the description part we need to type it uh, what is wanted to us so i'm going to left click on the description and i'm going to just write it down main connection bolt and the second one lock and pop And these are already written, so I'm going to just write down lock in pin. That's going to be the last one. So now it is completed. The next, we are going to go to bolt. And on the drawing, the diameter is 50, but we want them to 60, so we need to make addition. So to be able to do that, I'm going to go to click the sketch, double click. And then as you can see, it says the 50. I'm going to double click here and I'm going to change it to right down the 60. And then I'm going to click the enter. Now it is 60 and I'm going to click the green check mark. Now it is updated. Um, then I'm going to go to knuckle joint drawing file. So I can use the colors and I can use the bomb table. As you can see, even though I updated the diameter 60, but it doesn't show them 60. Or if I insert the bomb table here, where is the bomb table? Bomb table. If I just left click and if I just put them over here. And all the changes I made it. It doesn't show them here also. The reason we just need to click update from this workspace. So when I click here, now it should edit. This one's supposed to be 60. And as you can see, all the part number and description is updated. As you can see, guys. Next, we are going to use the callouts. So I'm going to click here and then Instead of circle, it tells me to use the hexagon. So I'm going to click the hexagon. And if you don't see the table item now here, or if you don't see anything else, you can click from here and you can choose it. Okay. But since it is already here, so I'm not going to make any changes. Now, doesn't matter which one you started actually, because it's going to be automatically find the numbers. So the bolt is one. So it's getting from the bomb table. So now it's going to be click and one. So I'm going to choose the, the pin it is five and then I'm gonna choose the marker the fork actually 
that's the four. Now we have yes one. And we have yes. okay. And then I can click the green check mark. It is completed. So I just want them in the like a same line and um, to be able to make them the same line, you probably notice that the red dash line uh, shows up. So you can leave them exactly same as it is. Okay, we have the hexagonal, we have the 60, we have the part number description, I believe. Yes, this is how to complete knuckle joint assembly assignment. Have a wonderful day.